Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today you're joining me on board good old narrowboat Abel's Ark and all I can say about the video you're about to see is I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, you're about to see the worst demonstration of how to do a simple job on board a boat that you'll ever see and this is a good indication as to why I always say and always put the disclaimers of when I'm doing jobs on board the boat that are filmed and on YouTube don't take them as illustrations or examples or tutorials of how you should do things on a boat I mean I'm far better at things about just cruising along the canal and going through locks and lift bridges and actually being out there in the wide world than I am when it comes to anything when you start looking un underneath the deck boards at the engine or anything as you're about to see. Um, so basically I, I changed the or I refilled the little tube that holds the grease for the steering gland. How did that go? So as you can see we've got this little tube going down to our propeller shaft that comes from this little brass tube with a handle on the top and this is basically filled with waterproof grease that you twist the handle on the top that forces the grease down the tube into the steering gland where it hopefully stops the water that's outside the boat from seeping all inside into the boat. It's as simple as that really and as you can see I've got a nice new uh, pot of grease here. It's got this disc on the top that should hopefully make this a nice simple job that'll only take two minutes and of course we definitely want our gloves on hand here. Got a double thumbs up there in the space of about 10 seconds. So I just gave the top a little twist and then, well, as you'll see, untwisted that from the base. Admittedly, I did cheat a little bit and I loosened it first because, as you can imagine, these are very, very uh, tightly put together because obviously the last thing you want is grease seeping out everywhere and it just maintains the seal and stops anything getting into the grease before you ram it down into the propeller shaft. So as you can see there, it's all pretty straightforward and simple. All we've got to do is fill this tube with a bit of grease. How hard can that possibly be? And as I say, surely that's only going to take me a minute or two. Well, let's get stuck in, my friends. <laughs> So, as you can see, I've put a sacrificial tea towel down on the worktop here. We've got our tube for the grease. I've unscrewed the top of the tube as well. And my intention is, if all goes to plan, I'm going to put the tube over that uh, part there in the centre and then force it all downwards so that as the tube over the top of this pushes this disc down on the top of the tub, it's going to force all of the grease into the tube pushing the, the lid and the piston upwards as the barrel gets filled. And if all goes to the plan, I'll then screw the cap down back into place, leaving the piston stuck right up here, filled, well, basically ready to start cramming down the grease into the steering gland. Right, fingers crossed my friends, you can see some of the old grease already uh, popping outwards there. I know this is some very strange uh, angles to try and record at with the sun low on the horizon streaming in through the window in that direction. Uh, so yeah, I assume... Wow! <laughs> okay, first thing, this could be a lot more difficult than I first intended. Wow, yes, that's... Uh... That's quite a uh, solid bit of grease we've got there. It's almost making me immediately doubt even further whether I'm doing this correctly. So, as you can see, even if I speed this footage up and I heave and I put all my force into it and my weight and use my massive big old Dan Brown muscles, I make very little progress. Such a little progress that you could almost say I made no progress at all. And even if I skip a little bit of footage now for a few minutes, you'll see... Oh, I still have made no meaningful progress whatsoever. And in the end, all I had to do was wiggle the top section with the piston about a little bit. As you'll see in just a moment. Okay then, my friends, this isn't going well. As you can see, we've got loads of grease coming up over the side of the disc there. If we pick this up, you can see it is actually working and it is filling it up. 
but it's just so extraordinarily difficult that I actually uh, tried to give myself a little bit of a bonus with not having just a, a razor thin edge of brass to push against, which you can see there, and tried to use uh, this little incense burner to give me some thing. But uh, because I was putting so much pressure and weight and force trying to get the grease to go up here, you can see that it actually snapped that, so that wasn't great. Uh, so I'm just going to try moving over to this um, part instead and see if we have any luck there. Oh dear me, the simplest things are always the diff most difficult. So things that you think, well, that's a simple, easy job. Just put a bit of grease in here. Obviously, again, as with all things in life, never assume anything and <laughs> expect the unexpected. You can definitely feel it just go down. And... Try to pull that up a little bit. There we go, look at that. Whew. Whew. Oh, goodness knows what the state of that is now. <laughs> That's been quite, quite an adventure. So basically at this point, I'm going to just spin this right the way down now. So as you can see, even in a time lapse and skipping a bit of footage again, it takes forever to get that little uh, top section lid to screw right down the piston. And that's a good indicator of just how gradual it is that you're forcing the grease down into the propeller shaft when you're turning the handle when everything's all set up properly. So you can feel like you're turning and turning and as if the handle isn't dropping at all because obviously in general you only need to turn it a little bit at uh, any one moment unless there's something serious going on down in the engine bay but ultimately I've got to say at long last after a good amount of time probably about half an hour <laughs> it was all finally done so it's just then a case of getting back out to the engine bay popping it in place and then screwing it up and again the thread as you screw the whole barrel down into its holder on the stern of the narrowboat itself takes forever to screw down so I suppose at this point I'll say I'm happy to say that there's no drips at the moment from the propeller shaft and I'm going to keep my eye on things over the next week or so to make sure I haven't made any terrible blunders. And I'll simply wrap this video up by saying thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you've learned something from this video, even if it is how not to do something. Please check out my other videos for my normal boat life vlog sort of videos and out and about on the canal and things like that. Feel free to check the links in the description where you'll find my short books available for the Kindle as a paperback and even as an audiobook about life on board an arrowboat and loads of links to my Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that where I post loads of boaty pictures and things about life on the canal in general. Until the next time my friends, as always, have an absolutely fantastic day, keep it interesting, keep it boatworthy and of course my friends, farewell.